Hello guys and welcome to my video. Today I'll be showing you how 58 meter windmill blades are transported in the Netherlands. We'll be loading in Moldijk and unloading in Meringemeer. As you can see I already arrived in Moldijk to pick up my trailer. Before we can load the wings we need to stretch out the trailers. For this specific type of wing we need to stretch the trailer with 37 meters. So that's 2 times 9 meters and 2 times 9.5 meters. Unfortunately my colleagues were running a bit late so I had to do it all by myself. As you can see it's quite a lot of work by yourself. You have to get out of your truck and get back into your truck and out of your truck and into your truck quite a couple of times. But in the end I made it. Loading is finished, we need to move the trucks back to the exit. Here you can see my colleague walking behind the trailer. He has a little remote control with which he can steer the axles of the trailer independently from the truck. You can do it inside the cabin as well, but this way it's much easier. truck is parked at the exit it's time to finish the trailers. We have to put on these warning signs because the load sticks outside of the trailer on the side. And last but not least we have to put on the so-called so Christmas lights. They go from the tip of the wing to the back of the trailer. So even when it's dark everybody sees that the wing sticks outside of the trailer on the back. We have an overhang of about 5 meters.
o'clock at night, we're finally allowed to leave. Due to the size of the load, we're only allowed to drive during the night. And of course, with a lot of pilots. Each truck gets two pilots. In this clip, we're at the last corner before the motorway. You can see my pilot behind me, and you can see the other pilot who has closed off the exit of the motorway. We're all in contact with each other via CB radio, so everybody knows what everybody's doing. couple of hours of driving, we have arrived at the exit Wieringenwerf. At the end of the exit there's a roundabout. At the roundabout we have to turn left. But because we're a bit longer than a normal truck, we have to drive into traffic on the wrong way of the roundabout. My other pilot, of course, has closed off the road so that we can do it safely. Oh, 
After a couple of kilometers and a couple of roundabouts more, we finally arrive at the entrance of the site. We have to reverse into the site for about two kilometers until we reach the end of the site where we have to park for the night. About halfway down the road, unfortunately, there is a little S-curve. And as you can see, the construction crew has dropped all their stuff and junk on the side of the road, which makes it a bit tricky. But in the end, we arrive safely at our destination. After our 9 hour break, it's time to unload. It's pretty straightforward as you can see. It's just two chains at the front, two chains at the back and lift her off. <laughs> 